explanation segment. Hello and thanks for joining us on Perspectives in Politics. I am Oge Ihimekme. We begin from River State, where Governor Yenson Wike says no state has given the People's Democratic Party, PDP, more support than River State. He says since 1999, the state has given the party the highest in terms of votes and financial support. To what it comes, a merge in the People's Democratic Party, PDP, between the National Chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Iyocha Ayu, the presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar, and Governor Yeso Wike since the primary election. A former lawmaker and member of the PDP, USA Igwesi, has called on the leadership of the PDP and those, he said, have the interests of the party at heart to urgently resolve the crisis in the party. That they should be cautious of what they are doing. Uh, both sides should know that PDP presently is an opposition political party. And we need to do everything humanly possible to come on board as the ruling party. And as such, they should be cautious of their statements. Uh, they should be careful with what they say. And uh, there should be concession on both sides. Wiki actually has worked for the party. Wiki has sustained the party when every other person had left the party. It was Wiki who was speaking for the party. And everybody was attacking him left, right and back. And uh, as such, if he's asking for a particular thing, I think the party should listen to him. Because without Wike, who sustained the party, we won't have PDP. So I think people should listen to him. And uh, Wike is a vocal member of the party, and he has worked for the party, and has insisted that the party should be a ruling party, with his behavior, with his uh, antecedents in the party. So I believe my advice is that the two warring factions, you know that we need to be on board. We need to take power from APC. And as such, they should do everything humanly possible to tame this particular tide. They should do everything humanly possible to resolve whatever is differences so that we can go ahead and control the party come 2023. A former governor of Kano State, Ibrahim Shekarao, has promised to broker peace between the River State Governor, Yes Wike and the PDP presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar, in a bid to resolve the disagreement between the two PDP chieftains. He also advised the leadership of the PDP to throw open its north-south rotational zoning policy. Some Christian members of the All Progressives Congress, APC, under the auspices of a league of the APC Christian youth promised not to relent efforts in their calls for the party to reverse its Muslim Muslim ticket for the 2003 elections. At a conference in Abuja, the youth said the joint ticket of Tinubu Shetima is a suicide mission and called for urgent replacement to save the party from losing in 2023. There is the need for the party's leadership to act with utmost honesty and sincerity of heart and purpose to realize that the Muslim Muslim ticket would work against the party in the presidential election. The fact that Nigerians have randomly rejected the Muslim Muslim ticket before the election indicates that the outcome of the presidential election would not would not be any different. Hence, the need for the urgent actions towards the rejigging the party's presidential ticket for the pools. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has presented a revised policy document for the internally displaced persons to vote in the 2023 general elections. The document was presented 
by the INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubo, at a stakeholder conference in Abuja. He says the idea is to ensure that no eligible Nigeria is left out of the electoral process on the account of displacement, disability, or other circumstances that may limit participation. That's all we can take for today. Join us tomorrow, same time for more. I am Ogie Ihimekme.